This is Houston. Say again, please. Uh, Houston, we've had a problem. Hey there folks, welcome you all to part 11 of the Elder Scrolls Online on the Xbox Series X, the High Isle Collector's Edition, people know this. Right, we are exactly where we were at the end of the last part, and <clears throat> we had inadvertently done one of the intro points to, well, another starting point of the game. So we started in one location, you can start in many locations, and we have sort of run one of the other stories through at the end of the last part. If you want to see that, you can go and check that out. It was quite cool in the end. And we're going to head back now to High Isle, because it's brought us out to another whole area on the map. So all undiscovered. It's another whole area to come back to at some point. So we're not going to do that just yet. What we are going to do is go back to High Isle. A ancient anchor berth in... Oh, that's my house, is it? Gunfallon Square Way Shrine, I think, maybe is the one. <clears throat> not sure if that cost me any coin or not, but... Uh... We've got plenty of questing to do in this area alone without... <clears throat> I think we've ended up in about five other areas now. I keep trying to come back to this one because it's got enough to do. So... We can carry on with the go to Castle Navia or Navia, I think they're calling it. Castle Navia, Or we can pick up something sidey quest to do. I did feel like doing the main story quest takes longer to get some XP picked up. Because the story quests tend to go on for a bit longer. Work in Ganfallon Bay. Aiding the Archipelago. Are you good with a blade or bow? Well, it happens that I am. Can you cast death dealing spells with the greatest of ease? Are you willing to explore the most dangerous regions of High Isle and Eminos? Do you want to earn gold and glory the old fashioned way? Then we have a job for you. Seek out Gruseg in the north central district of G Gonfalon Bay for details. <clears throat> right, well, we'll definitely do that, I think. Do a little bit of side questing, shall we? So we're on the hunt for Gruzeg. Well, that's marvellous, that is. Where are you on the map, Gruzeg? Well, we've got a white marker there. Well, I have to assume that is Gruzeg. And I think we'll pick up a few more if we... Oh, hello, who's this? Hey, Gruzeg. You're a new face. Must be here about the notice, am I right? Of course I'm right. If you need work and aren't too concerned about the risks, then we should talk. I assure you I'm a fully sanctioned representative of the Gonfalon Bay authorities. What sort of work are you hiring for? Oh, you misunderstand. I'm not the hirer, just an agent. More of an administrator, really. I make sure the job brokers are on the up and up. Speak to Waylode, Paris Plouffe, or Druid Piska. They hire adventurers on a daily basis. Tell me more about these job brokers and what they're looking for. Curiosity, with a dash of prudence. Good qualities for an adventurer. Means you'll live longer. All right, who do you want me to tell you about? Tell me more about the jobs on... Oh, yeah, I don't know if I want to go through all this. Oh. I think I have to. <laughs> new face. Oh, you misunderstand. Curiosity. With it. Tell me more of the jobs of Waylord offers. Waylord represents business interests in Gonfalon Bay. They're more than willing to pay for an adventurer's help to acquire items or gather components from specific locations. A single adventurer can usually handle these tasks on their own. So that's Waylord. Tell me more about the jobs Paris Plouf offers. Sometimes the Sisters Guard and the various knightly orders need a little help, especially with the terrible monsters that lurk in the island's wild places. Paris recruits adventurers for these tough jobs. You'll need a group to deal with these. 
Tell me more about the jobs Druid Piska offers. We've been having issues with lava fissures recently. They appear in various places, spew molten rock and strange creatures, and create a danger for the area. Druid Piska can tell you more. I recommend you form a group to deal with these threats. Okay, uh, all right, I'm ready. How do I sign up for one of these jobs? Easy as piercing a gore apple with my task. If you prefer to work alone, go see Waylord. If you want to work as part of a group, then talk to either Paris or Druid Piska. Remember, Wayload provides jobs you can handle on your own, while Paris and Druid Piska deal in work that requires a group to complete safely. You will be paid handsomely for every task you complete. I guarantee it. Very well. Yeah, there's Wayload. So we've already spoken to these badges, actually. We didn't do Paris Plouf because uh, it's a group one. But Wayload, I think we've already got a quest from Wayload. I look forward to your safe return and news of your success. Your pay will be waiting once the job is complete. Good oak. Yes, yeah, so we've picked up a job from Waylord already. Uh, look for the prisoners, was it? Maybe? Talk to Gladass Brackenleaf. That's Jakan's contract. Talk to Glorus Brackenleaf. Talk to Etheros. Talk to King Cameron. Yeah, I, th I feel like it's this prisoner's one. But anyway, let's follow it. Let's see where it takes us. Prison problems. feel like this takes us to a boat. But anyway, we'll see how we go. <laughs> well, what's it taking me around there for now? Hmm. What's that all about? Should we try that again? Unless there's more than one marker, but I don't think so. All oh, right, okay. <laughs> there was a, another black marker there, actually, as we ran in. Njol is below. Might have been worth picking it up if we could have found Jol, but I don't know where to find Jol. Whoa. <laughs> Thought it was a set of steps. I always do that. I think the steps around here. Well, it's a boat. We're going on the boat. Boat to Ammo. Yeah, it's Aminos. Uh, disembark. Thank you. Hey. That's better. Aminos Station Stockade. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Why is it every time I go in somewhere it then tells me I'm meant to be... Oh, hello. I'm not meant to be in it. That guy went all nasty on me. Oh, no. Dude, seriously? Just 
Just hope nobody saw us, eh? <laughs> <laughs> well... I think it's on the other side of that jail is the thing. Stranger, those stockade ruffians hauled away my husband. Can you help me? Well, does it mean I need to go in there and fight them? I think it probably does. Marcel... Dantain. Go on then. You, you're actually stopping to help? Yeah. Everyone else ignored me or looked at me as though I were insane. You are insane. My husband and I, we were here at Amino Station on business. Then the jailers grabbed poor Valentine and dragged him away. They dragged your husband away to where? Into their damn prison stockade. And it won't be long before they finish processing him. Then they'll banish poor Valentine into the jungle and I'll never see my beloved again. Help me save my husband, stranger. I'll pay you handsomely. Please. Well, go on then. Can't you just appeal to the jailers, tell them they made a mistake? On the prison island of Aminos? Hardly. Besides, there's no time. Here, take this bottle of Dufort Red. It's a rare vintage that Jailer Omdil absolutely adores. Give him that and he'll let you inside. Then find my Valentine and get him out of there. All right. I hope you get your husband out of the prison stockade. Here, I'll mark a location on your map. There's a spot out in the jungle where we can meet. I'll have us away off this cursed island by the time you collect Valentine and get there. Just give Jailer Omdil the wine. Get inside and find my husband. The long game. What makes you so sure this Jailer Omdil will cooperate? I do my research. Everyone in town says Jailer Omdil loves wine. They also say he's willing to look the other way in exchange for a free bottle every now and again. He guards the back way into the stockade, which is perfect for your purposes. What were you and Valentin doing when they arrested him? Nothing illegal, if that's what you're asking. Well, nothing overtly illegal. We were watching the ships come and go, looking for a suitable crew and cargo we could take advantage of. We're thieves, all right. Maybe the jailers recognized Valentine. <laughs> thieves, huh? What else aren't you telling me? Look, I may have exaggerated my distress when we met, but everything I told you is true. They grabbed Valentine for no reason. And if we don't get him out, he'll be lost forever. It's not just the dangerous currents that make Aminos a prison. What do you mean? They do something when they process the prisoners. Magic or alchemy, I don't know the details. But anyone banished to the jungle, they can't survive anywhere but on this accursed rock. It's a perfect prison and totally inhumane. And... I want to hear more about this escape plan of yours. Look, Valentine and I are thieves, and we're damn good ones. Getting into and out of impossible situations is what we do. In my case, I've had time to plan and prepare. Valentine didn't get the chance. That's why you need to go in there and help him. And what happens if I get, uh, but what happens after I get inside? It's simple. You find my husband before they <clears> process <throat> him, escort him to the location I marked on your map, and we all get away before the jailers notice a thing. Trust me. Valentine and I have been doing stuff like this since the moment we met. Yes, but you didn't just go in there a minute ago and kill a guard, did you? You know what I mean? <laughs> Which I inadvertently did, so that, there's that. How did the two of you meet? Funny story. Mabson hired us separately to pull off the same job. She hoped we'd kill each other to eliminate the competition, you understand. The look on her face when she found us arm in arm, waiting in her chamber two nights later... <laughs> Priceless. What were you and Valentin doing when the jailers arrested you? Tell me we're right, okay. Hey, well, my marker seems to be ruined here, so that must be the back entrance, so thank you. Another way shrine, lovely. Omdil looks like a man who likes his wine. And 
Unless you want to become a permanent resident of the prison stockade, just move along, citizen. I'm tired, I'm thirsty, and I'm not in the mood for gadabouts from High Isle today. Actually, I'd like to enter the prison stockade. Have you lost your senses? Why in the name of Rupka's starry britches do you want to go inside? There's nothing but murderers, cut purses, and thieves in there. They'll eat you alive. I need to find a thief who was recently imprisoned. Would this gift grant me safe passage? Is that... it is! A rare do Fort Red! My favorite! Alright, take this outfit, wear it, and the jailers will think you're a trustee and leave you alone. Oh, but uh, watch out for any jailers carrying a torch. They can spot a disguise in a sandstorm. Got it, avoid jailers carrying torches. As for finding a thief, I'd check the head jailer's office in the keep if I were you. You want to see if the thief you're looking for has been processed yet or not. The head jailer keeps a ledger with that information. Thanks for the advice and the outfit. Put on that trusty outfit before you head inside. If you get caught, we never had this conversation. Understand? Good. What's so important about finding out if he's been processed or not? Depends on your intentions. If you just want a word or two with the thief, the head jailer keeps records of which prisoners are in the stockade and which have been sent to the jungle. On the other hand, processing means a lot more if... If what? If you're planning a rescue. But I don't want to know nothing about that. If the thief has been processed, then he's already been banished. Or he's about to be. And once that happens, there's no leaving this island. At least not alive. How does this processing work exactly? What? Do I look like some fancy robe from the Mages Guild? The process is magical, I think. Or maybe alchemical. Anyway, a processed prisoner can only survive in the wilds of Amanos. If you can call living in that jungle surviving. Now go away. Okie doke. Need to put our uh, uniform on. Uh, is it under quest items or... Yeah, trusty outfit. The wearer has a trusty Amanos station. I'm assuming that's what I was meant to put on anyway. Oh yeah, I've got the little hidden symbol now, I've got it on, look. Stay away from torches. Oops, steady. Find the head jailer's office, search the head jailer's office. You've been spotted by a sentry. What? Your disguise will not work against certain enemies. When you see a red eye... Oh. <laughs> Fucking hell, by the time I'd read it, I'd have been found out. What's that all about? Fuck's sake. Well this is fucking not going to end well is it? Look how many of them there are. I'm not going to be able to leave the room though am I? So it's all fucked. Can't even move. Stuck against the door. I mean, what the fuck are you meant to do with that exactly? Is 
Does that just mean I failed the quest then? I can't do anything. Yeah, because I don't, I don't have anything to get me set back inside. Oh, I've got to find another outfit. Fuck's sake, where am I meant to get that from? I don't even know where the guard was. Like, I, I was just walking in a quiet corridor and it said a guard senior. I didn't see any guards on that floor until I got spotted. Um, I can't seem to put it on. Oh, yeah, there we go. <clears throat> right, let's just take it a bit slower this time, because I didn't for the life of me see... Why is it telling me to go outside? No, it's not. It's just a back way in it. Torch. Another torch. I'm pretty sure I've got a sneak button somewhere. Oh fuck, no, don't do that. What are you doing? Oh, fucking hell. How do I how do I crouch people? <laughs> Can't for the life of me remember how to crouch in this game. I sworn it was clicking the stick, but it doesn't seem to be working. Hmm. I'm not seeing crouch anywhere. Well, that's a bit uh, disappointing. Oh, there it is. Tap. Yeah, tap the right stick, but it won't let me do it. Is it because it, it just assumes I'm hidden as it is, so I don't need to do it? It's got a red eye on that guy, look. I think that's what it is. I think it doesn't work, because it's already assuming that I'm you hidden. You don't here, do you, little mouse? Come and tell Gar Willith all about it. You may be able to fool the less attentive jailers and inmates of this place, but not me. Don't worry, I won't reveal your secret. As long as you tell me why you're here, of course. I'm looking for a prisoner named Valentin. Valentine. Do you know? Do you know him? Valentine. Valentine. Yeah, maybe I know such a person. You seem the courageous sort. Let's make a trade. Help me get revenge on another inmate, and I'll point you in the right direction to find. What's his name? What do you want exactly? Oh, nothing violent. A trustee named Yavara likes to make camp on the platform over there. All I need you to do is steal something from a jailer and place it in her bedroll. Simple as dirt. Do me this favor, and I'll tell you where to find Valentine. You're trying to frame another prisoner? Not just any prisoner. Yavara. That viper used something I found to earn her status as a trustee. 
I should be the one getting free meals a day, a spot on the platform, and a guarantee I won't be processed. Help me teach her a lesson, and I'll help you. Well, I've got a red on Intimidate, or I've got a red on All Right, I'll Help You. Um, you need the Intimidate perk before you can choose this option. All right, okay, that's why it's red. Okay, I'll help you, but it's probably going to say I need the Sneak perk or something. Great. Oh, no. Listen carefully. Jailer Zalze keeps his footlocker nearby, and I happen to know he never locks it. Just reach in, grab something valuable, and stick it in Yavara's bedroll. She's got eyes like a hawk, though, so you might need to distract her. Why did I know this was going to turn into a bloody nightmare, this thing? There's someone with a torch. Now the question is, does that dude turn around ever? Well, how the hell am I met? Right, I'm. Way better now that I'm a trust. I need to go the other way and wait for him to turn around, presumably. Oh fuck! Forgot about that guy. He seems to have gone up the other way for a minute. Hey, get away from my bedroll. Ugh. Well, how the hell am I meant to distract her? Um. Ah, there's a thing down here. Waste barrel. Open. Oh, what a horrid smell! Shit, I've been spotted. Did someone leave that waste barrel open again. Oh, for fuck's sake! What a crock of shite! Well, I'm fucked now, aren't I? Because I can't... I don't even have the uniform anymore. So what the hell am I meant to do about that? I need to find another trusty outfit. But, I mean, I can't even... How am I meant to get out of the place? <laughs> the fuck? Well, I've still got a marker on her over there. to slip one of the jailer's valuables into Yavara's bedroll? Yes, I placed the stolen locket in Yavara's bedroll. Excellent. My turn. I never renege on an agreement. Valentine arrived in the stockade earlier today. We got to talking, and he asked me to help him slip into the caldera. What's the caldera? That's what the jailers call the area between their keep and the gates that lead into the jungle. Not the safest place to go wandering, in my opinion, but Valentine insisted. 
So how do I get to Caldera and where can I find Valentine? Valentine said he needed to check something past the big tree, near where the waterfall plunges down. Head north out of the stockade until you see the river, then follow it toward the falls. My guess is you'll find him in the clearing to the west. Very well. Well, we all know I'm not getting out of here without being spotted, don't we? Well, find Valentine. It's not telling me to find an outfit again, so... I think we've done it, people. We've done the hard bit anyway. Hey. I feel like that's really fast water and I might just get dragged away if I go over there. Didn't even need to go into that bloody prison if he's out here, surely. <laughs> Damn, the legend was right. I do need three keys. Oh, hello. If you're one of those horrid prisoners come to rob me, I'm afraid my current situation has left me quite destitute. But come to think of it, if you'd be willing to help me out, I can promise you a sizable chunk of gold. What do you say? Wait, your wife is worried about you. She hired me to find you and get you, uh, get you to an extraction point. Marcel? Why would she do that? She knew my plan was to get arrested and steal the Daybreak gem. I let those jailers grab me on purpose! Well, at least it sounds like she has a better exit strategy than I devise. You're stealing the Daybreak gem from the prison? From the prison? Whatever gave you that idea? No, I needed to get into the prison to examine a book I knew was inside the jailer's keep. Secrets of Aminos. A rare tome full of secrets I require to access the old vault. Uh, what old vault? The one where the Daybreak gem is stored. Pay attention, my friend. I didn't think I was Sorry. going too fast. The old vault was built in forgotten years ago, but with the information from that book, I finally know how to open it. Will you help me? Um, sure, why not? What kind of help exactly? I hoped the legend was wrong that I'd only need the one key I already have, but alas, it requires three keys to open the vault. And now I know where to find them. Help me survive the jungle and acquire the other keys and I'll pay you handsomely. All right. I'll help you find the keys and steal the Daybreak gem. Brilliant. According to the book, the keys were hidden separately. One in the southern jungle, the other in the west. Here, I'll mark your map with the location specified. Have you heard the legend of the hidden vault? It's quite fascinating. Tell me about this legend. It's remarkable. The legend of the Sisters Sisters. Famaza, Binami, and Vera, a trio of pirates who amassed untold treasure from their raids along High Rock's coast. According to the story, they chose Aminos as the site to build their hidden vault. What happened to these pirates? Well, this was before Aminos Station and the prison stockade. The sisters built their vault and hid their treasure. While the vault was under construction, Famaza fell in love with a local named Altinway. That's when everything started to fall apart. Fall apart? What do you mean? Alton Way convinced Famaza to betray her sister so they could keep the treasure for themselves. Her sisters learned of the plan and hid their keys before any confrontation could occur. You see, all three keys were needed to open the vault. So what happened when Famaza finally com confronted her sisters? Nothing good. The sisters' sisters died fighting each other, leaving Altenway with one key and the secret of the vault. He bragged of it in a tavern, which is how the legend got started. He met his end searching the jungle for the other two keys. Where exactly is the vault? Right behind this rocky cliffside. The locks are hidden in the boulder I was examining. Ingenious design, but it definitely requires all three keys. You know, I was hoping the legend was wrong about that. Oh, well. And do you think the other two keys are at the spots you marked on the map? 
A lot of research went into determining which rare book mentioned the keys, then more to find out there was a copy in the prison. After I obtained Famaza's key from a far too trusting descendant, I came here. Anyway, we'll soon have the other keys. What about the jungle? I've heard it's pretty dangerous beyond those gates. Dangerous? Sure, but nothing you can't handle. We haven't been processed yet, so we can come and go from the jungle as we please. Just make sure none of the jailers notice. They usually don't pay much attention outside the stockade, though. Why take such a big risk for a gem? This isn't just any gem. The Daybreak gem has a rich history. And it's part of a different legend. I'll let you in on another secret. With the Daybreak Gem, I can find an even more legendary vault that contains an even greater treasure. So you need the day you need to break into this vault to get the gem so you can break into another vault? <laughs> now you see why I was willing to risk banishment to obtain the Daybreak Gem. I'm just glad Marcel found you and sent you to help. She really is a terrific partner. Now, let's go get those keys. Okie doke. Need to learn how to stay on the good side of the jailers. We don't want to get processed and banished to the jungle. Certainly, not. through this gate lies Better the jungle of Amnes. Your home the for the rest of your miserable die. lives. Please. This one knows she can never leave the jungle, but sometimes slipping through that gate is so tempting. Well, that's the west key, and that's the south key. I guess the question is, which one's closest? South key looks like it's a bit closer. Although it does look like it's behind these mahusive rocks. That's the point. What happens if I... Yeah, he can't seem to get on it, can he? There's a thing over there though, shard thingy midgibiddy. That's its official name. Sky Shard. Bear with me, people. Is that a frog? <laughs> His as well, look. Brilliant. Hello. Oh, 
Why am I not? Why is my bow not working? Smacking the button and nothing happened. They're nasty little blighters, aren't they, eh? Blimey. Well, am I missing a trick here, or am I... That's the west key. The south key. Why do I feel like it's moved? He's a big fella. Oh. Woo, level up and ride your pony. I think we get two jumps as well on this one. Well, level 15, but we get two points of each thing. Ah. Won't do it here, though, because they'll uh, respawn. We'll just find a little quiet corner that's not this. Whoa, holy fuck, where did he come from? must be the place. Look around for a key while I keep watch. Well. Yes, yeah, so it looks like we need to go room there. Nice. It's quite cool this, to be fair. But I think we'll certainly have a little pause here. Seems like a safe spot to do our leveling up. You can now carry a backup weapon. Ooh, nice. Complete with its own hotbar. Ooh, sweet. So we can now have two sets of moves, basically. Two bows with two sets of moves would be quite cool, wouldn't it? Uh, although, am I allowed two bows? I am, actually. Do I need to... I'm assuming I need to pick one of these. Prophet's bow... Yeah, I mean, there's a bit of an argument that says do a different weapon type and maybe do dagger so that you've got the option of the two different moves. Because uh, we've got all those dagger moves we've kind of dumped now, haven't we? I wonder how you jump between the two weapon sets, though. I think maybe it'd be wiser to do that for now because it's not like we can't pick up another bow at some point. 
Mind you, that said, that bow is actually better than the one I'm wearing. It's got 1,108 damage. The one I've got on is 941. Deals a maximum of 4294 Oblivion damage. Yeah, it's, it's definitely a better bow than we're wearing that. So, I think we should take it. I think it increases experience gained as well by 7% instead of 6%. Part of the profit set. Well, it'd be silly not to take it, really. Yeah, that we just get that anyway, I think. Ah, there we go. You can swap... You can now equip another weapon, press the left on the D-pad to toggle between weapon sets. Brilliant. That's excellent, that is. So we've got two attribute points, which, yeah, magic is getting left behind a bit, isn't it? Definitely taking a stamina. I might put them both on stamina, you know. Stamina is everything at this point, well, at the moment anyway. And two of these badges as well. Well, it has kind of opened up. Wanting to use other moves, doesn't it? If we've got another set of things to use. Four shock. Reduce this is the stamina cost by a Increases your stamina recovery by 2% for each piece of medium armor. I can actually... Oh yeah, I can put another one in that. Yeah, so it'll go up to... Current bonus 14%, current bonus 7%. Yeah, it's going to go up to 28% then, presumably. Oh, nice. Stamina recovery of 4% for each piece of armor. So we're getting 28% stamina recovery bonus. Superb. It means we could actually use Soul Trap a bit more as well. Because we've not used that at all, I don't think. Fill up some of these... Uh, Soul gems. Allows you to intimidate NPCs in conversation. Well, and actually, interestingly, we, we couldn't use it, could we, a minute ago? Because we didn't have the ability. Might be worth, might be worth uh, investing in. Allows you to persuade NPCs. I wonder if a persuade is better than intimidate, maybe. Well, accuracy increases your critical chance rate by 657. Next rank increases your critical chance rating by 1,300. That's double, isn't it? Well, the passives are awesome because they're always on, aren't they? So let's do it. And we got a new bow. Yeah, well, everything about it about it's better, isn't it? Spell damage is up. 
weapon damage is up and maximum health goes up. Same kind of bow, to be fair. Just better. How do you do a second weapon, then? Main hand backup. There you go. Although, we do have a dagger right enough there. I've only got one, though. Could do a... That's a great sword. You could do a mace and a dagger, I suppose. One in each hand. Poison backup, what's that? Oh, oh yeah, poison's backup. You know what that's all about. Well, here's the question though. How the bloody hell do you assign all the bits to that? Skills, presumably, and then weapon swap. There you go. There we go. That's us got the mace and the dagger on now. So we could go for... Assassin's Blade. Teleport strike, which I'm not that fussed about, but we could use it anyway. Use a lot of magic of these, though, don't they? Oh, that's an ultimate ability, yeah. So we could... Veiled Strike. Slash an enemy dealing blah damage. And Shadow Cloak, which we haven't got yet. Malevolent Offering. Oh, we don't have those yet. Um, Where's the one that... Oh, can I not have the same thing on two things? Uh, um, try to find the one that's got the... Stealing health from another thing. I thought it was in siphoning. Stealing an enemy's life force. Yeah, there it's there. Totally missing it. And I think that's as much as we can do. For now. But there you go. We've got another set of moves to use, people. Ow. <laughs> Not against a trap, though.
That's quite cool though, just instantly swap over, look. Brilliant. Whoa. <laughs> what is happening with this fight, people? Nice. Get oh another dagger. Might put that on. Iron dagger of flame. Ah, that's what we didn't put on as well. We didn't put the uh soul trap. Main hand back up, main off hand back up. What? It's more like it. Well, there's the ring. Nice. It's quite nice as a daggery person. Fella's journal and the south key. <laughs> Wait, do you want me to just jump down? Mind you, it looks like a can to be fair. Anything else up here first? Decorative wax. <coughs> oh, it's dusty in this. <coughs> oh, it's dusty in this blooming forest, people. Well, I did attempt to try and steal its life force, but I don't know if I did it. Oh no. Natural. One key no down, one to go. Lava. Well, I'm super happy I've got two sets now, because uh, I was kind of thinking I was a bit limited on the moves front there. I haven't used an ultimate move yet. I thought I saw something shiny in the middle of all that, but... Although, that is something. Bug loss.
Wow, that stamina is doing pretty well now. Nern route. Might be worth a little look at the map actually, just to check we're not. It'd be quite nice to find the shards, wouldn't it? The sky shards. if that's a little vendor down there or a little camp yeah a little, little huts don't they that looks very similar to a place I've visited before but it's not the same place. Everybody calm down. Seems to be lots of brigands around these parts. That's the way shrine we've already discovered, isn't it? I think we'll come right back on ourselves. No, no, maybe not. Serpent's Hollow Way Shrine. Yeah, there's sort of an eye symbol on the map there. Do you see that? Just there. Is that a point of interest or what? I'm not sure. Structure. The key must be in there. Oh, what does that plaque say? Only the sisters may enter this dwelling. Place a sacred tanner leaf on the plinth nearest the island center. Place my good sister shawl onto the plinth where the knight's sword never rusts. Place the traitor. Place the traitor's 
lignite, coal, onto the plinth where animals die. Cursed be the traitor's name. Hmm. Plinths. Must be these low pedestals over here. There's a shawl on one already, so we just need to find a sacred leaf and the traitor's coal. Seems reasonable. Tanner leaf. I'm a little bitty confused. Well, the white marker is there until I go so far and then it vanishes. Those critical hits are severe, aren't they? It's brilliant. <clears throat> well, that's a leaf and a chunk of coal. Start with the leaf. Place it on the plinth closest to the centre of the island. Hey. Closest to the center of the island, what? Right? Now, place the coal. That did it. The door appears clear. Well done. Thank you. Finimi's docile. West Key. Uh. Now we have all three keys. Let's return to the vault and see if we can open it. sure we get a little perk of some description for reading now, don't we, for picking up that mage thingamajibbity. Some sort of mage questy thing. Unlock the vault, here we go.
えー Not fought one of these big badges, have we? This could be the death of me, couldn't it? Steady. Soul Razor Knight Duelist. That was worth taking one on just for the sheer hellers of it. Christ almighty. Stumbled into that one. Well, I do seem to be somewhat too low down. <laughs> Fucking hell, really? I thought I just fought these badges. Well, I don't know how to get up there. Surely we're not going back to where we started though. Does seem like somewhat a dead end. Aminos extraction point. <laughs> All right, that must be where we end up. Well, we've gone well over the hour mark again, people. Living quests. I mean, it 
has to be that I've got to go all the way around, surely, because there's no way up there, is there? Oh, steady. Well, this seems to be the right way. This one knows she can never leave the jungle. But sometimes, slipping through that gate is so tempting. Through this gate lies the jungle of Amnus. Your home for the rest of your miserable lives. I need to learn how to stay on the good side of the jailers. I don't want to get processed and banished to the jungle. <laughs> I was that one quest for like an hour and a half, just about. Let's insert our keys. Hopefully we don't have to turn them all at the same time. Amazing! Let's head inside. Sisters, sisters, vault. Come, friend. The treasure awaits. Does it, though? Something tells me something ominous is going to happen down here. Put them to sleep and throw them in the cage. Boss said not to hurt them. <laughs> I knew something was going to happen. Wake up, my darling. And thanks for opening the vault. You always did have a way with locks and keys. Marcel? What are you doing in that cage? Poor Valentine. As confused as ever. You're in the cage, my dear. I'm stealing the treasure. Screwed over once again. Good grief. You don't look as surprised as my darling husband. You lied to me. I do want to thank you for helping him open this vault for me. Makes stealing the treasure out from under him ever so much easier. You lied to me. This was your plan all along. You say lie. I say slight fabrication. Let's just agree to disagree. But otherwise, yes. I always plan for the long game. But Valentine is your husband. Why not just share the treasure like you wanted to? Share? <laughs> Real thieves don't share, my sweet. Everything we do is selfish and self-serving. Valentine knows that. It's part of the code. The treasure is mine. All of it. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have minions to command and a vault to rob. Ta-ta. Ta-ta. All right, my minions, gather up the treasure and let's get out of here. Isn't she a marvel? Well, we need our own escape route. Here, grab my hammer and chisel and find us a way out of here. Knock on the walls with the hammer and chisel and look for a weak spot. Volcanic tunnels riddle these islands. There's bound to be one nearby. Sounds solid. Knock in another spot. Nope, too solid. Look for a large crack or something. Oh, uh, thank you. That sounds promising. <laughs> yes. That was a very weak spot, wasn't it? Now that we're free, we can finish what we started. How can we finish when your wife has already taken the treasure? 
You assume Marcel knows about the Daybreak Gem, but I never mentioned it when I told her the legend of the vault. I always hold back a secret or two. Marcel has no idea that the big, non-precious gem is really the key to a larger treasure. So you think she left the gem behind? All right. Oh. And here's your hammer and chisel back. Ah, my trusty hammer and chisel. Saved my ass on more than one occasion. Now, let's go find that gem and get to the extraction point before Marcel. If we hurry, we can still turn the tide on the love of my life. Okie doke. I, I realise I am going the wrong way. I was just curious as to what was down here. <laughs> I think it just seems to take us back around to where we were, does it? I think it was just another way around. I'll set up this ladder while you find the gem. Check the lock boxes that Marcel left behind. It has to be in one of them. Daybreak gem, lovely. That's definitely the daybreak gem, my friend. Look how it refuses to glisten. Now, up the ladder and... We're out! Now. Let's get to that extraction point Marcel told you about. Well, it seems reasonable, and we kind of knew where it was, didn't we? Oh, steady. <laughs> the feck. How do we get down from here? I'll meet you at the extraction point, my friend. Marvellous. Ready, guys? That wasn't much of an extraction point, was it? Not pretty safe. Climb, my friend, climb! We did it, my friend. Look, we beat my wife to the extraction point. Smashing! Valentine? How did you... You constantly underestimate me, oh love of my life. Here, let me just cut these ropes for you. Damn you, Valentine. I didn't think you had it in you. But I will see you soon, my love. Count on it. Always, my love. Always. Marcel is angry with me, but she'll get over it. These competitions keep our blood hot, if you catch my meaning. While she finds another way out of the jungle, we slip away on the next ship to Parting Amino Station. Now, about my gem. Here, take the gem. Ah. Uh, and a beautiful specimen it is. Marcel never understands the importance of legends, and that's why we bested her this day. Anyway, I never would have succeeded without your assistance. Take this, with my compliments. 
Valentine's chisel. Looks like a dagger, actually. One of these days, I'll figure out where I need to take the Daybreak gem. Then the treasure of the Daybreak monks will be mine. <laughs> Perhaps I'll reach out to you, my friend. You're quite handy to have around when the going gets troublesome. You don't know where this other treasure is hidden? Oh, not a clue. I'm still in the information gathering stage of the heist. Legends require a lot of research and study to fully uncover. But one day, I will need to hide the gem, though. I don't want Marcel to get too curious when she gets back. You and your wife have a strange relationship, my friend. You think so? I suppose. We do have a healthy competitive streak, but it adds spice to our marriage. We really do love each other. So what's next for you, Valentine? Well, first I need to get off this damn island, then that research I mentioned, and some relaxation. Always good to take time, especially after a successful heist. I also want to plan something nice for when Marcel gets home. Something romantic. <laughs> something romantic? Most certainly. I learned a long time ago that some fine wine, a box of sweets, and a little romance take the edge off. Help soothe Marcel's murderous impulses after I win one of our competitions. That's the secret to a happy marriage, my friend. <laughs> Fare you well. Until next time, my friend. Right, and here we are once again. Uh, mind you, I could probably teleport from here anyway. But... It's just so bloody beautiful, this game. It's amazing. Boat to Defort Shipyards. Uh, is that where we want to go? Can't remember. Well, we do seem to be in the right place, I think. <laughs> Try to see where the marker is, but I can't see it. West Bay Shrine. Uh, West Bay Way Shrine. Steadfast Manor. Yeah, there's Steadfast Manor. Oh, there's Castle Nevere there. We've already found it, in fact. We could teleport straight there for that quest. I knew, I, th I felt like we'd found that already. Aminos Station, yeah, that's where we've just been. So we've got a boat across to there, basically. There's Gamfallon Square, yeah. It's a fair old way up there, though. You'd think there'd be a boat that could take us to here. <laughs> you know what I mean? Could go straight to the castle right enough for the next part. We could do that as part of a quest. Mind you, we could probably do with uh, dumping some stuff in a bank. We need to buy some more bank space. Well, that said, we could probably do with selling a bunch of stuff. We've got actually we've got loads of swords and things. What was uh, what was the old dagger like that he gave us? That seems to be the weaker of the two weapons, that off Iron Dagger of Frost. Valentine's Chisel. Yeah, it is a dagger. 771 damage. Yeah, it's not as good as the others, is it? Oh, it restores 349 health, though. That's pretty decent, isn't it? Life Drain Enchantment. Increases weapons and spell critical 2.1%. Not sure what all that is down at the bottom. Part of the Steadfast's melee. Oh, it's part of a set.
Oh, hang on a minute. No, the damage is 1,096, but it's doing 771 damage, uh, ma magic damage, and restores 349 health as well. So it is actually better than the one we've got on, is it? 1037. Yeah. Equipping Valentine's chisel will permanently bind it to your account. Yes, I don't know what that means. You keep telling me that. I've got no idea what you mean. Steadfast's metal dagger collected. Nice, look pretty sweet, the old daggers. Let's have a look at them in the sun. Nice. Well, there you are, folks. I think we should wrap that up now. It's been about three days of an episode. <laughs> uh, I think maybe we'll crack on with the go to Castle Navir because we're already there. But uh, it, I'll, I'll have a little think about it before I record the next part and decide then. It's quite nice doing the little side quest, just take you off on a different mission and not overly sure how much XP we got for that. But we're already nearly halfway to 16. Doing well. Actually, I tell you what we didn't do. We didn't take our daily reward. Which is... Uh, whatever that is. Crown Soul Gem 10. Used to revive players and companions or to fully charge enchantments on weapons. Oh, nice. Definitely take that. Well, there you are, folks. Thoroughly enjoyed that episode. Well, there you go. It has been an honour and a privilege serving for you once again in the Elder Scrolls Online High Isle Edition. And I shall catch you in the next one, folks. Take it easy. Bye.